Hello my friend and welcome back today. We're gonna be taking a look at three different ideas for art projects that you, and activities that you can do in your classroom for Easter this year. All right, let's make some art. is doing a craft and write with your students. That means that you're going to do an Easter craft and then they're going to do a writing piece inspired by the craft they create. So this is one that I created. It's super cute of an Easter egg that has different lines and pattern exploration, but also it's kind of like an Easter egg bunny and it's just so cute with this little face. And also has these little fun elements all over it to decorate it. This one's been done in wax crayon and watercolor paint. So I created my design and then I um, I cut out and I assembled my design and then I took some wax crayons and picked some different lines and patterns to explore and drew them on and then I painted on top with watercolor paint for a lovely wax resist finish making this beautiful super cute Easter egg. Now what I like to do is provide students with a pick a pattern page where they can pick three different patterns to use for their design. They can circle it, the ones they want to use, and then they'll know which ones to add to their design to make their craft and then also practice line and pattern. I think it's a great way to uh, create a lovely cross-curricular activity. Um, also, after they create their craft, you can do either a non-fiction or a fiction writing activity depending, depending on the age of your students or whatever you're currently exploring in writing in your classroom. That means that you could do a planning page and then you could come up with prompts together or you could provide sketchbook prompts to, I'm sorry, not sketchbook prompts, but writing prompts to your students for either nonfiction or fiction. Now, if you um, are needing, wanting this actual craft and write and you would like it, be, to be fully prepared with all the cut and glue elements and lots of different ones to choose from different eyes and different mouths and different things to pick from. You get your pick a powder page, you get all your rubrics and your assessments, your peer review, um, your uh, planning pages for both nonfiction and fiction writing and different uh, prompt pages for both nonfiction and fiction writing and at different levels for different uh, ages of students or abilities more to allow for adaptations or modifications. Um, if you like this little project, this exact one here, make sure you check out my Easter Craft and Write in the description of the video. All right, the next one that I love is doing an art and write, an art and write with your students. Oh yeah, how cute is this? Easter art and write. So students are going to create an artwork first. Um, for mine, I came up with this Easter egg. That's a bunny. I love Easter egg bunnies. Okay, obviously you can see a theme here. This one's a totally different take on it. Um, I think I've used some metallic oil pastels on this. That's why it's kind of shiny. <laughs> Regrets. Um, but and they're kind of slippery, to be honest. I don't know about the metallic oil pastels. Mm, not very good for layering. I find that they're too slippery. Um, but also, anyways, so my point is I drew with oil pastels first, and then I picked patterns. So I picked some different patterns to add to it. So you see I circled my patterns, and then I drew them in my different spots, and then I painted over top with watercolor paints for a beautiful finished design, right? Because oil pastel will also resist the watercolor paints. And then students can go ahead and create a writing inspired by their artwork. So an art and write. So they make an artwork and then they write about it. So then they can create an artwork inspired by, uh, sorry, a writing inspired by their artwork, either nonfiction or fiction. Now, if you would like this specific art tutorial that also comes with the writing pages that are and write for Easter of mine, you can grab this resource in the description below in this video. And this is my beautiful Easter art and write. I'm so excited. I think it's lovely to do and also is a great way to encourage your cross-curricular um, connections in your classroom. Now finally, I love making Easter bunnies 
for Easter. So check out this super cute uh, artwork for Easter. Oh my gosh, look at this buddy, my friend. This is oil, pastel, and tempera paint. So if you're trying to figure out ways to use your tempera paint in your classroom, this is a lovely way to do it. It's super bright, super easy, and so effective. And look how cute it is. Isn't it lovely? It'll be a nice display for Easter. But even if students are don't celebrate Easter, this one is not super Eastery, um, where it's like super bunny or super um, whatever. It could be. It could pass as a as a spring artwork. So if they are looking for something that's non-religious, um, non-celebratory that way, this one's a good option as it's, it's also a good spring themed artwork. You can just call it a spring bunny artwork for them, right? Um, or it can be an Easter artwork. So it depends on it, so it's flexible. It's a flexible design, right, for an artwork. Um, so I did this drawing first of the bunny in purple oil pastel to change things up. Sometimes it's too much using black all the time. Black, 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 because it's very smudgy. So when they're beginner artists, that black medium is a very powerful medium, and so it smudges all the time. So the black outlines are, it's, it's always a, a go-to using a black outline, right? So it's to break outside the box and to try something different and encourage creativity, I've used purple, right? So it's good to try things that are different. So we've done a purple outline. You can also do brown or blue or green, and then paint in your background with your temper paint. And then I watered down my temper paint and shaded my bunny with a watered down purple temper paint. So it's almost like a watercolor paint at that point. Now, if you're looking for this art project tutorial, you can also grab it in the description below the video. This is my Easter Bunny uh, art tutorial and it's right below in the description. You can click it, grab it. It comes with all your full step-by-step -step tutorial, comes with all your assessment, your rubrics, your handouts, everything, your lesson plan, everything you need to teach this successfully and be planned in seconds. Oh yeah. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. You're going to, your next video to watch are my uh, St. Patrick's Day art ideas for your classroom, and I will see you in that episode. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you there.